Welcome to the Harmony of the Seas. This is Jason here. I'm gonna do a full ship tour. I was on the Harmony for a seven day cruise. We had a blast. Let's go ahead and get started with the tour. I'm gonna start the tour off right here on deck 15. I'm gonna give you a quick overview. Right here is the perfect storm water slide. Here is the main pool area. Right past the main pool area is Splash Away Bay. This is the kids section. Going all the way to the back here is Mini Bites. Then the sports court the flow riders, and the ultimate abyss slide. So let's head on back and take a look at the perfect storm water slides. There are three slides, there are two regular slides, and then there's the slide which launches you right into this bowl right here. It's pretty cool. Right in front of the perfect storm water slides is the main pool. On either side of the main pool are two hot tubs. Now keep in mind that there are four pools on this ship four big pools. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one. On the other side, directly across from Central Park, is the beach pool. This is also in front of the Perfect Storm water slides. Here you're also gonna find two hot tubs. And remember to keep in mind that in between both of these pools, you're gonna see Central Park. Central Park is down on deck eight. We're gonna head on down there in a little bit. Right here is the pool bar. There are two pool bars right here in the main pool area. In front of the pool bar right here, check this out, is the sports pool. The sports pool is a lot of fun. There's a lot of contests that take place here. For example, the crew plays against the guest in a game of water volleyball. Let's take a quick look from up here. Straight down is the main pool, across is the sports pool, and you can see in between, right there is Central Park. In front of the pools are the water slides. I'm gonna jump down to deck 16, take a look at this. There's a small bar up here. It has an excellent view of the sports pool. Right across from the sports pool is Splashway Bay. This is the kids area. The area is fun. It's full of water slides, splash toys. There's a huge bucket that dumps thousands of gallons of water on kids all day long. Everyone loves to go up and get dumped on. And right around the corner from Splash Away Bay is the soft served ice cream. Heading right down from the soft served ice cream, remember we're headed toward the back of the ship, is Mini Bites. It's a great place to stop and grab a burger or a hot dog, maybe some chips. They even have healthy salads. Over here in this area, you'll also find the Challengers Arcade. Check it out. You do not need coins to play these games. All you need is your key card. Parents, if your kids have their own key card, which they will, you can actually turn those off so they don't come in here and go crazy and then you have a $300 bill. Let's head on down to the back of the ship, take a look at the sports court. The first venue we're gonna come across is the Putt-Putt Golf Court. The cool thing about all of the activities back here is that they are all included. All you have to do is show up. There are ping pong tables right over here. They offer championships, so keep an eye out for that. There are also other activities at the basketball court. There's dodgeball, you can play basketball, of course, and soccer. Now, if we look over the edge here, take a look at this. You can see the boardwalk. This is where you zip line. You're gonna zip line right across on top of the boardwalk. Take a look at this. This is the ultimate abyss. This is a dry slide. It goes all the way down to the boardwalk. It's amazing. Right in front of the ultimate abyss is the wipeout bar. Wipeout bar is right in between both of the flow riders. One flow rider is for bodyboarding and the other one is for surfing. Check it out. They have lessons available, which they offer on sea days. So if you wanna get really good, take advantage of that. Now take a look at this. We're gonna head all the way down deck 16 right here and take a look at the solarium. The solarium is all the way at the front of the ship. It's wall to wall glass. It is amazing. You can enjoy the elements of being outside, but you're also protected. We enjoyed and utilized the solarium mainly during sea days. Sometimes we came in here after we got back from port, but we really enjoyed our sea days and the time that we spent here just traveling along the ocean. There are plenty of places to relax and sit. There are really cool cabanas that you can just fit into. They fit two people. There are jacuzzis. There is also a bar and there is a buffet. Keep in mind that the area here is huge. It spans three decks. We came in on deck 16. From there, you can go down two decks or you can come in on deck 15. There's a little observation area out here all the way at the end. This is on either side. Now, if we look up from the middle deck and the solarium, we're gonna go right into the solarium bar. This is a perfect spot to have a drink. Also here on the middle deck, this is one deck below the bar, is the solarium buffet. It's a buffet 
for breakfast and lunch, which is complimentary. However, for dinner, there is an additional charge. At night, it's part of the specialty dining. I'll go over the specialty dining here in a little bit. Most of the food is complimentary on board, but there are specialty dining options. Let's take a look at the Windjammer Buffet. The buffet is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is completely complimentary. You can come in whenever it's open. Remember, you can dine in the main dining room, which we're gonna take a look at here in a little bit. However, if you wanna come into the buffet during dinner, that option is available to you. Think about this. The Oasis of the Seas, the Harmony of the Seas, and the Symphony of the Seas are all sister ships. They're almost the same exact ship. So if you like this ship, you can pick any of those other ships as well, especially if you like one of those itineraries. I'm gonna go ahead and do you a favor. I'm gonna place links to those sailings down below the description of the video so you can check them out. But here's the good news. If you wanna book any one of those ships, make sure you give me a call. I'm gonna put my 1-800 number right there on the screen. Screen. You see, is what we do is we offer discounted rates. It's amazing. Our clients love us. We have partnered up with Royal Caribbean and we book thousands of cabins with them every single month. So it's what we're able to do is we're able to offer you their promotions. But in addition, we're going to give you a discounted rate. So make sure you call that 1-800 number. Keep in mind, to get this discounted rate, you must give us a call. These are unpublished rates. This is Wonderland. It's an exquisite dining experience. You can choose dishes based on five natural elements, earth, sea, fire, ice, and sun. The menu is creative. To be able to see it, you'll need to brush the menu with a paintbrush dipped in water. Keep in mind that Wonderland is part of the specialty dining. If you'd like to know the prices of specialty dining, check out the link down below the description of the video under dining. Well, let's take a tour of Central Park. I'm gonna give you a quick overview. Right here is Chops Grill and the Rising Tide Bar. Right after that is the Trellis Bar, then Park Cafe and Jamie's Italian. All the way in the back here are the stores. And on the other side is Vintage's Wine Bar. Central Park is definitely one of the most impressive areas that you'll find on a cruise ship. Here you'll enjoy an atmosphere made up of thousands of plants. The trellis here goes up five decks. Looking up above, you'll notice that there are balcony cabins. Not all balcony cabins on Harmony of the Seas are ocean view, so keep that in mind when booking. Right here is the Rising Tide Bar. This is the bar that's gonna go down to the promenade. It's a lot of fun. You can either ride it up or down. Let's take a look at 150 Central Park West. Each dish at 150 Central Park West consists of locally sourced ingredients. So it's farm to cruise ship. <laughs> Some of the dishes are prepared table side, so keep that in mind. 150 Central Park West is specialty dining. Remember, specialty is not required. There are plenty of included options on the ship for dining. Specialty just gives you the option. Right here is the trellis bar. The trellis bar is in the middle of Central Park. It's an excellent spot to grab a drink and enjoy the flora and fauna. Directly across from 150 Central Park West is Chops Grill. This is the steakhouse. This is also part of the specialty dining. Is what's excellent about this venue is that the chefs hand cut, season, and grill each steak to your specification. You can also eat outside and enjoy the atmosphere if you like. Right down the way from Chops Grill is Park Cafe. This is a cozy little spot where you can grab a sandwich, a salad, soup of the day. Keep in mind that Park Cafe is open for breakfast. So when a lot of people are going to the buffet and it might be a little bit busy, you can just come on down here. They have a full breakfast here waiting for you. And you can also sit outside if you like. Right across from Park Cafe is Jamie's Italian. Jamie's Italian is part of the specialty dining. What's interesting to know about Jamie's Italian is that they make their own pasta. Over here in the back is where you'll find the stores where you can buy luxury watches. Check it out. Across the way here is Vintages. This is the wine bar. They offer wine tastings throughout the cruise. They're very informative. They're setting up right now for one. Make sure you check that out when you get on board. Otherwise, just come on in, get yourself a bottle of wine. It's a cozy spot to just relax and enjoy your family's company. Let's take a look at Dazzles. This is a live entertainment venue. Probably the only time that you're gonna come into Dazzles is to watch live music. They have bands from swing to disco to classic rock cover bands. A drink that I'm gonna recommend that you order here is the Moscow Ginger Mule or the Ultimate Mai Tai. Dazzles spans two entire decks. When there's a good band playing, make sure you come in early and get a good seat. Let's take a look at the spa. 
The spa area here consists of thermal suites, which offers a steam room and a sauna. There is an extra charge for the thermal suite, so just come to the spa on your first day of the cruise and take a tour and see the pricing if you like. Going through the spa all the way toward the front of the ship is the gym. It is a huge gym, one of the biggest that I've ever seen. There are free weights, machines, Stairmasters, treadmills. Down a deck is the running track. The running track is also huge. It goes all the way around the deck. Let's head on back to the entrance of the spa. Check this out. The Vitality Cafe is where you can get yourself a healthy smoothie and you're gonna need it because you're on a cruise and you're gonna be drinking and having fun. This is Focus. This is the photo gallery. This is where you'll find the pictures that the photographers on board take of you while you're on the ship. Right across the way here is Schooner Bar. At night, there will be piano players playing the music that you love. During the day, you can enjoy activities here such as trivia. There's a really good view of the Royal Promenade from up here. Let's take a look at the boardwalk. The boardwalk is all the way here in the back of the ship. There's an arcade when you first walk in. There's a Starbucks. Remember, regular coffee is available in the buffet and at Park Cafe for free, but if you want a Starbucks coffee, that's available. Is what's really cool about the boardwalk is that there is a carousel right here. There's a Mexican restaurant. Right across from the Mexican restaurant is Johnny Rockets. Johnny Rockets makes classic specialty hamburgers. It's a diner setting. You'll see that there are like bar stools up here where you can order right at the counter. Little kids like to come up here in this little fish net and play. And remember the ultimate abyss comes all the way down from the sports deck to the boardwalk. Keep in mind that the ultimate abyss is a dry slide you're gonna get in a little blanket and head on down. All the way to the back here, take a look at this, is the Aqua Theater. You're gonna see people jumping from heights into that pool that you can't even imagine. Let's take a look at the Royal Promenade. I'm gonna give you a quick overview. Right here is Bolero's and the Shore Excursions Desk, Sorrento's and Boot and Bonnet, Cafe Promenade, the Rising Tide Bar, the Bionic Bar, and all the way to the back, is the main dining room. The Royal Promenade is one of the most amazing areas on the ship. A lot of action and activities take place here. For example, at night, there are bands playing, there are dance parties, there are 80s parties, there are 90s parties, there are parades. One of the most impressive venues that is here in the Royal Promenade is the Rising Tide Bar. The Rising Tide Bar is a lot of fun. Usually when you walk onto the Rising Tide Bar, the time will be displayed whether it's gonna go up or down. Cause remember, it's gonna go from here all the way up to deck eight and then back down again. Well, let's take a look at Bolero's. Bolero's is right next to the Shore Excursions desk. It's more toward the front of the promenade. This is the Latin nightclub. At night, there will be big dance parties with Latin music. A lot of people will be dancing, enjoying themselves. There are plenty of comfortable places to sit and relax. There's a nice bar right here. Without a doubt, while you're on the cruise and you're walking down the Royal Promenade, you'll hear everybody partying from Boleros. One of my favorite spots on the Royal Promenade is Sorrento's. And there's a reason why. The pizza tastes good, but that's not the only reason. It's because they're open late. It's a perfect place to come in after hours to get a pizza after a fun night of hanging out, partying, and having a great time. Take a look at this. Right across the hall here from Sorrento's is Boot and Bonnet. This is an English style pub. Have you ever had a black and tan? I advise you to come in here and try one of those. It's two beers together. I'm not gonna tell you what they are. I'm just gonna say, come and try it. What I really like about Boot and Bonnet though is the live music. Every night, a live singer will come in and play live music. You can also sit out here on the promenade if you like. Across the way here is Next Cruise. Next Cruise is where you can book your next cruise. If you book it while you're on board, there are amazing incentives that they will give you. And just keep in mind, if you book one on board, give us a call, you can transfer that booking over to us and we'll give you a discounted rate. Across from Next Cruise is Cafe Promenade, where you can get sandwiches, coffee, treats, desserts. Let's take a look at On Air. Gentlemen, this is where you're gonna come in to watch your sporting events. They'll also offer activities here such as karaoke. Right next to Cafe Promenade is Guest Services. So if you have any questions, any issues, you can just come on over to Guest Services and they'll take care of you. Well, let's take a look at the Bionic Bar. The Bionic Bar is amazing. 
These robots are gonna make your drink for you. Is what you do is you go up to the iPad, swipe your card, order your drink. Your name will appear on the wall there. When it's ready, you just go up, swipe your card, and grab your drink. Let's check out the main dining room. The way the main dining rooms work is, is that there is a specific time that you'll come in to eat, either an early or a late dining. Now, when I say specific, it only is in regards to those two dining times because you can also do my time dining where you can come in any time that you like. There are three main dining venues. They are Silk, American Icon, and Grande. All are the same dining room. The only difference is the deck in which you will enter. The name of your dining venue, which means the deck that you're going to enter from, will be on your key card. So that means that the main dining room spans three decks. It is humongous. The main dining room is completely complimentary. It's open for breakfast and lunch, but just be wary of the times. Let's take a look at deck four. Let's shoot on through it. Let me give you a quick preview. First, we're gonna go right through the casino. Through this hallway right here is the art gallery. To the right is Studio B. To the left is the attic. Straight ahead is the theater. So while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at the theater. Royal Caribbean is known for their amazing entertainment. They have wonderful plays, excellent comedians. A lot of times the comedians will be here in the theater as well as the shows. Sometimes they'll be in the attic, but sometimes they'll also be here in the theater. So you're gonna see all kinds of different types of entertainment here. This is Jazz on 4. Throughout the entire cruise, there will be jazz shows. You can come in here, sit back, relax, enjoy those shows. That's what's really cool about a cruise. If you're noticing, there are many different types of venues. So there's pretty much something for everyone. Across from Jazz on 4 is the attic. This is the nightclub. There will also be activities here throughout the day. And sometimes the comedians will do their shows in here. Here you can also enjoy things like the silent party, which is a lot of fun. Right down the way from the attic is Studio B. This is the ice skating rink. Here there will be ice shows as well. It's mainly a theater. It's where you're gonna come and enjoy the ice shows. But on sea days, you can actually come in here and ice skate. Well, let's take a look at the casino. This is the biggest casino that I've ever seen at sea. It probably is the biggest, but I'm just not 100% sure. Here you can play craps, Texas Hold'em, roulette. They have awesome Texas Hold'em tournaments. At night, they have really good Texas Hold'em games. I played poker every night I was on the cruise. Well, let's take a look at Azumi. This is the Abachi Grill and Sushi Bar. So the chefs will cook the food right in front of you, right here, which is a lot of fun, especially if you're in a group. But if you're not in a group, they'll just pair you with somebody. And if you're not in the mood for the Abachi Grill, you can come in and sit at the Sushi Bar, eat some sushi, and enjoy some sake. Hey folks, thank you for joining me on the tour. This is Jason here. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, to get the best rate guaranteed, give me a call. My number's right there on the screen. Have a blessed day.